Hi, Calculus. We are working with velocity, and we have this problem from Active Calculus where we are graphing a position function. So this is a situation where we have a ball. We're holding it in our hands. We're holding it up above the ground, and we throw it straight up in the air and then let it drop to the ground. And we have this function right here, s of t equals 64 minus 16 times the quantity t minus 1 squared. So this is the position of the ball. This is basically the height of the ball off the ground. And our challenge here is to construct a graph of this position function, y equals s of t, on the time interval from 0 seconds right at the beginning of the scenario to 3 seconds. Uh, so let's do that in Desmos. So let's go over to Desmos. And we have this function s of t. So let's just type that in. We got s of t. And what is it? It equals 64 minus 16 times the quantity t minus 1. And that whole quantity is squared. So the thing inside the parentheses, the parentheses is squared. And you can see our function showing up on the graph to the left. Now, it says we only want it to show this on the interval from 0 to 3. So it kind of, you know, in this scenario, it doesn't really make sense to have negative time, right? This, the, the t is time in seconds. So to talk about what happened a second and a half before the scenario doesn't really make sense. Let's, so let's limit this graph in Desmos. And we do that with uh, these curly brackets. That's the key right next to my P key, shift, and the key next to my P. And we'll start at time equals 0. And let's do less than or equal to t. So t is greater than 0, and t is less than or equal to 3. OK, so now we've got a graph. And we can blow that up, get that nicely on the page. And you know it's still a little bit hard to look at. So let's change the y-axis. So let's just make that, I mean, change the x-axis. Let's just say we're only interested in, you know, from like negative 1 to 4 to just get the whole thing in there. And let's, that looks like it's going to work. And we can add our label. This is time in seconds and for on our y-axis it's going to be height or we let's just call it distance and it's feet above the ground all right so there's our scenario so that was nice much easier to look at and Basically, it asks us to plot six points. If we go back to al active calculus, it says label at least six distinct points on the graph, including the three points showing when the ball was released, when the ball reaches its highest point, and when the ball lands. So let's do those three. And so when the ball was released, the scenario starts at time zero. So I can just plot a point by just going over here and putting the point zero. And then instead of computing the y, I can just have Desmos do that. So I can say s of 0, meaning like what is the value when we plug 0 into this function named s. And there my point shows up. And if I want to see the exact coordinates, I can get the label. So it's when the scenario starts at time 0, the ball is 48 feet off the ground. And then when does it reach its maximum height? It looks like right here at time equals 1. So let's add that point. So we can say 1, and then we'll have, again, have Desmos compute the value when time equals 1 by plugging 1 into that function s. And let's label it. So that is the peak. So we can say peak height. We can type in words for labels. And we can say start. This is the beginning. And then it looks like it hits the ground. Well, when does it hit the ground? It hits the ground when the height is 0. The ground is 0. So that looks like it happens at time 3. So let's add a point there. So we can say at 3 seconds and calculate the y, just so we 
have Desmos doing it. We'll plug in the, the three to our position function and put the label there. So yes, yeah, so at three seconds, the ball's height is zero, meaning it is hit, hits the ground. So we can say hit the ground. Okay, so there, that's how you plot points. Um, they want you to plot six, so you could just kind of come in here and pick any other time and plot three other points that look interesting to you. But that is creating the, this is a position function and the standard convention is to call position functions S of T. That's our position function on the interval from zero to three and it shows a ball being thrown straight up in the air and peaking at one second and then hitting the ground at three seconds. And there you go.